Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by Tank Crimes Records and Transylvania Recordings, although I do not have the Transylvania Recordings cassette version of this monster. I need to get it because the new Death Grave record is fantastic. It's only midnight. Tank Crimes Records and Transylvania Recordings. Yo! This is what happens when you get Greg Wilkinson on guitar, Andre Cornajo on vocals, Clint Zane on drums, Fern Alberts on bass, and drums for all songs except Ruer, I meant except Sewer Runs Through Her were tracked at Great American Music Hall in San Francisco, California. Everything else was tracked at the mighty Earhammer Studios by Grammy Greg w Wilkinson. Yes, Greg definitely won a fucking Grammy. And congratulations. I know it was a couple years ago, but that's like my third favorite High on Fire record. Like, Surrounded by Thieves. Then I would say, uh, probably the debut or Death is This Communion. And then, yeah, I need to get that record too. But I threw the B side on, and 45 RPMs of grinding death metal punk riddled madness. This shit is infested with so much sickness coming from all different areas of extreme music. I love the high, like, the good cop, bad cop vocals are amazing on here because it legitimately captures that, like, 80s grind sound. Like, early Napalm Death, where, like, you tell it, rah, 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 like, like that. They do this, that type of shit, so well. My ears are ringing so badly, so if I'm talking really loud, I apologize. Oh, wait, I put the A side on. My bad. Uh, I fucked up. That was my fault. I meant to throw the B-side on. But, yeah, I wanted to show you folks the record. My, my fuck up. I was listening to this uh, pretty much all day yesterday when I had a chance. Like, I was babysitting and, like, I'd put, you know, Lord of the Rings on because it was raining and uh, I'd kind of sneak into my room and get a couple listens of the b-side just look at that art i want that tattooed on me so bad like it's just cool as fuck and so is this but the b-side art is just so fucking awesome but the colored lp tank crimes seem to always kill it with the cosmetics and stuff. And it's because they use Pirate's Press. And Pirate's Press is the shit. But I will put the B-side on now. 45 RPMs. And if you heard the last Grave. Uh, I'm a Death Grave record. You know how good this band is. And, like, the fact that Greg also has, like, Leather Glove, Brain Oil, and, like, 50 other projects he's involved in, it's just awesome. And then all the engineering, behind-the-scenes work he does, Greg Wilkinson is the fucking man. And I'm glad that his name is back on the channel. It's been a minute, but... I'm glad we got to go over something that Greg was not only involved in production-wise, but musically. And I'm not trying to 
I know I've been making it sound like Greg is the all-star here. This entire record is so fucking good. It's like autopsy, if like, oh, it's so good. Like, it's seriously so good. And I mean, Greg was playing uh, bass for autopsy. I think Erica might have filled in his position. But Erica's full time and mortuous now, so I, I don't really know, to be honest with you. But I could be wrong. I should have asked first. But if you live in California, I know Death Grave are playing like shows right now. Don't miss this band for real. Don't sleep on this record. It's fan fucking tastic. Like for real. If you're a fan of grinding, like punk riddled crusty death metal but like that worships the altar of autopsy you can't go wrong with these fucking four sickos right here this is one of those records that like and this is so cool i i i don't know like if you're also like it kind of reminded me of rudimentary uh oh my goodness am i gonna rudimentary pen eye pen eye or whatever I hate my fucking brain, but you know what, what I'm talking about, if you know. Like, imagine if they hung out with Autopsy. That's, like, kind of what I was trying to go for, like, sound-wise. But it's so fucking good. I love the cover art with this, like, B-movie, like, giant tarantula, like, over... I'm guessing Los... Uh, I'm just gonna guess Los... Well, I don't know. That looks like... Maybe Big Ben? There's like a clock tower? It might be Hill Valley. But, now nah, I have no fucking clue. I haven't been to, you know, uh, NorCal in a long time. Over 20 years. But, like, probably one of my favorite tracks on here is Rats Are Back, Slurring Sermons. Like, the B-side, seriously, is so fucking good. But the A-side also just rules... Ant Baby, On All Fours, Tony's Deli, Sewer Runs Through Her, <laughs> The Resigned, Resurrect. I, I like that little, you know, play on words. And then the B side, Rats Are Back, Slur and Sermons, Your Rulers Are Here, Sniff Scratch, Peel Smack, Lonely Streets, and Atomic Narcotic Withdrawal. What a fucking banger. I love the lyrics, too. Awaken from a two-day nap. My friends are gone and I feel like crap. That's punk. Like, for real, that's punk as fuck. And, you know, when it comes to metal-infused, like, punk, this is some of the best out there, honestly. Especially because it fucks with grind and death metal and just does it on a spectacular level that's kind of unparalleled i know that that's a you know that's a lot but like seriously death grave it's only midnight wow one of my favorite releases of the year so far if not my favorite because i don't know if the val mismore <laughs> split counts but this is also so good Oh my goodness, if you pre-ordered this, then you know how good it is, but technically this is a 2022 record, but this, uh, I think, uh, yeah, it's 2023, because this, yeah, I got this a little bit in advance, yeah, fucking A, but, um, anyways, Rest in power to um, Mary Bowles and hails to Deathgrave for putting out a total fucking banger with It's Only Midnight. 
on Tank Crimes Records. Thank you, Scott, at Tank Crimes for making today's video possible. And thank you for watching. You fucking rule. Hails. Hails. <laughs>